Hey everybody, Al Wistefsky here with Landon Legacy Group, and today we're on a 308 acre property in Juneau County. This is a property that we have listed right now, and as you can see by the logs in the background, they are doing some timber improvements, some logging on this property, and the reason for that is this property is an MFL, which stands for Managed Forest Law, and there's two different types of MFL programs. You can either put your property in a closed program, which this one is, or an open program. The difference is how much tax break you get, and then there's a little bit of a difference with if the public can come on the property or not. So, like I said, this property is an MFL closed, so it shows up on the tax bill as there's a reduction in the property taxes, and it remains private. So on the flip side, when you have your property in MFL open, you get a little bit bigger tax break, but the public can come onto your property specifically for hunting. And the way that people find that is through the DNR uh, website. Uh, they can look at your tax bill and it'll say MFL open. Um, and so, like I said, people can come onto the property as long as they find that. So one of the added benefits of having a uh, property in MFL or actually doing any logging is you get these nice trails. So before we were over by the landing where they drag all of the uh, timber out and that's where they would load up the trucks, but they have to get there somehow. And what happens is you get these trails created on your property. So after they're done logging, you can use these for trucks, UTVs, um, to uh, stand or food plot. I've seen people make these into food plots or the landing site's been made into a food plot. So you can do a lot of different things when your property is being logged like this. So it's an added benefit of doing that type of uh, activity on your property. So as you can see here, we're just in an area where they've been doing pretty heavy logging. And one thing to remember is that you're actually providing a really nice benefit to wildlife by doing this. So you have the stumps and then you also have um, the branches and the tops of everything that's been cut down and they're laid off to the side here. So that creates really, really good cover for wildlife to use. And in the meantime, this forest is gonna start to regenerate. So you're gonna have really young trees that are gonna provide really good ground cover. It's even gonna provide a food source for wildlife. So it's always gonna benefit you in the long run by doing this. MFL goes, if you want to put your property in that, you do have to talk to the Wisconsin DNR. They'll meet with you, they'll come look at the property, and then they will craft a management plan uh, for you and your property to follow. And it'll have scheduled either trimmings, clearings, uh, a little bit of select cutting. Uh, as you can see, they've already done some of their cuttings here um, as I walked up. And they will work with you to get that as scheduled, you know, depend on the year. And then you will work with a private contractor to have all of your uh, timber stand improvement done. So it's in, it's in line with the management plan that you get from the Wisconsin DNR. Typical contract length for that is about 25 years. Some could be longer, some could be shorter. It all depends what you work out with your DNR representative to get that plan in place. So if you have any other questions about MFL, just reach out to me, Al at LandonLegacyGroup.com, and I'll point you in the right direction to get started on that for you and your property.